Welcome back from our thick break. So if you're following along in the book, we are picking up on page 38, and we're still going to be working with our vectors and uh, accessing elements in the vectors and logical expressions. But I'm going to take a little bit more time on this, both to follow along with the book, but also because what he is showing, I think, is very helpful for uh, finding subsets and making a little bit more clear how to access those subsets in different ways since some of the things that I found confusing looking at other people's code is knowing exactly what was happening because different people do it different ways and it seems to be that you just plain can do it in different ways so onward uh, the first thing that we're going to try is, uh, this the parentheses is so that it will show it right to the console. We're going to create a variable called pointer, and we're going to put into it a which statement, which we were just working on, and we want to know which elements in the array x x is greater than 8, oops, 8, or x is less than 3. So again, we're going to look at what we would expect since we already looked at this before. I'm going to look over here to the values since this is a helpful way to keep track of it as we're working through this. So we want to know which are greater than 8. So we're, position, we're looking at the positions 1 and 2 and the positions 9 and 10. So pointer should contain those, 1, 2, 9, and 10. Okay, there we go. The next thing that we are going to do, again, we're going to print this to the console, uh, a y variable, and we're going to put into it x, the contents now of the vector of those positions. So that now we're going to have the contents of 1, 2, 9, and 10. So now what we're going to expect y to have is nine, uh, 10, 9, 2, and 1. I don't really like that this example has the uh, positions and the numbers inside of them repeated. I'd kind of like to change it, except that if you're following along in the book that you're going to end up, uh, if I change it, then it, it won't match up. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it for now. Okay, this is as we expected. This is what's contained in the vector. Okay, another way to do the same thing is rather than making a whole new variable, is we could just say x, and now again we're find which tells us locations. And I don't want to copy, type it all in again, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. And let's see what we would expect. So we want printed to the screen x, whatever are in these locations. We would expect the things that are in these locations, greater than 8, is going to be 9 and 10, less than 3 is 2 and 1, and what is in those locations. So we're going to expect what is printed is 10, 9, 2, and 1. Let's print it. 10, 9, 2, and 1. So, what we are showing here is it took these two lines to do the same thing that we could do right here. If we're going to keep using pointer for any reason, it's worth it, but if not, we might as well just do it in one line. Okay, so they're giving us another alternative way to do the same thing. It looks like we don't even need to do which. We could just say, oops, I've already copied it so I can paste it. X is greater than 8 or X is less than 3. As I'm looking at the difference in th these, they should 
return the same thing. Uh, they're both x and they're both positions within x and they should be pointing at the same thing. So I'm going to run it just to see that it's what I... Oh, wait a minute. It's not what I'm expecting. This... What? Something is not what I'm expecting. I had to try something to see if I could figure out what's happening. I had only highlighted this part of the expression, so it had uh, only run that, and it uh, evaluated it as a logical logical expression, true, true, false, false, uh, which is different than running just what is inside here, which returns the locations. So what's interesting is if I go ahead and run this, it is 10, 9, so it's, it's, uh, outputting everything that is true in the logical expression. So it seems that uh, these two are accomplishing the same thing but different ways. This, someone can correct me if I'm not quite understanding this correctly, but the way that it seems to be happening is that this is outputting x for the locations. Location 1, location 2, location 9 and location 10 and what is here is it's located uh, it is outputting uh, each location that is true moving on the next thing that we'll do with the vector is look at the length and we'll look at the length of the same expression and so what we should be finding out length should be telling us how many elements are in there. And we're saying which, which is telling us uh, the locations for places where this is true and this is true. So if we look over here, there should be two here and two here. So the length, how many are there? There should be four. Let's run that. And there we go. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is sum. It looks like we're doing the same expression. Ah, so from what we just saw is that this should give us true, true, false, 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 true, true. So it should be summing how many are true in there and there should be four of them. So what we're looking at next is how we can kind of find and replace some elements in that vector, uh, most simply. So we're gonna look at just say what is in X, same thing that it has been, that hasn't changed in a while. And we're going to change what's in Y now and we're going to say y is going to be, and we're going to find the locations for where x is greater than 8. So where x is greater than 8. So this should return 1 and 2 because it's location 1 and 2. So it didn't output it to the console, we didn't tell it to, but we can look up here and just double check, and that's what we expect. So now what we're doing is into x, location 1 and 2, we are putting in 12. So now we should be changing what's in that uh, two spots in the vector. So we can look up here and look and see that it changed. So we are going to put it back. Probably not necessary, but for some reason he likes to work with a connected set of numbers. And so now we're going to say 
x, and again we're looking at the location, which x is greater than 8. All right, so we're going to have to look, uh, since this is an assignment, we need to, uh, to understand it, I want to make sure that I see what's happening piece by piece. So we're looking at x, the locations which x are greater than 8, so it's actually the same two locations right there and right there, and we're assigning into those locations 12. So what we've done is we are doing the exact same thing we did before, should change into 12. So this one statement right here has done the same thing that, again, two statements did right here. So, actually instead of typing again, I'm going to just run that one line again. So this puts it back into 1098 all the way through. And this time, we're going to run x with location, oops, I did the wrong curly brackets, don't want to do that, square brackets, x is greater than 8, interesting, so we're not, we're again doing all the locations where this runs true, and assigning into it 12. So this should do the same thing that the last one did. And we can see that it changed in here. Interesting, it changed it to a uh, numerical rather than integer. I'm not sure why it did that. Again, if someone knows, go ahead and tell me. I'd be interested. Okay, I'm going to run this line again to put it back. See, it changed it back to an integer. Again, I don't know why. Uh, we are going to run another one. So we are, oops, we already have x, which has 10 numbers, and we have y, which is in 2, and we're going to run this two way. The first one, x, is in y, this is a logical expression. And we can see that it ran false, except for the two that are in the location where the one and the two were. Okay, to make it easy on myself, I'm going to copy paste and I'm going to reverse it and say y in x. Oh, that was x in y. And now we say y in x. It's true and true because it's testing these two only and saying, is this in here? Yes. Is this in here? Yes. That's the best explanation that I have. And if I were to follow that explanation for to say, okay, why did X and Y return false, 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 true? You could say, is Y, is X and Y false? And Y false? false, 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 until we get to here, is this one in y true, is this one in y true? And that would make sense. So I'm going to go with that explanation to myself. All right, we're going to do one more. Well, probably not one more, but one more with the in. So we're saying x, I'm just going to paste here. So we're going to find a location. So this is a logical expression, and we're going to say x, where x is in y. We already know that it's only in y in the last two, and we're returning the values in there. So it should return the values 2 and 1. Let's see if it does that. I must have... Oh, I highlighted just part of it. Let me run the whole thing. There we go. 